a new smart fridge arrived today. My other fridge went out. I'd had it for like 17 years and it was just time. So this is my first time seeing it. It's the Samsung Family Hub fridge. So I don't have any food in it because my other refrigerator has been going out slowly over the last couple of days. But I'm about to actually go to the grocery store if they have food. I don't even know if they have food. This is the freezer compartment. It actually has two little compartments. So I'm going to be doing a YouTube review of it probably in a week or so once I um, get it all packed up and see exactly what all the ins and outs of it are. And I will let you guys know how I like it. guys and welcome back to my channel the Merrill Week Diaries. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Samsung Family Hub Smart Refrigerator. I'm actually making this video like in the 16 by 9 format just because of the length of the refrigerator. So I actually got it about two and a half weeks ago, a few days before I ordered it. My refrigerator that I've had for about uh, 17 years now, a long time, um, began to go on the blink. So the freezer was freezing, but the refrigerator side was not cooling. So uh, it was just time to get a new refrigerator. So I decided to go with the Samsung Family Hub refrigerator. Uh, I heard good things about it and there was actually a lady that I follow on Instagram who had one. She didn't do a review. It's just a photo in one of her stories and I really liked it. So I decided that this would be the one, you know, that we'd get next. So it's a pretty cool refrigerator. It actually um, has an app that you can download um, to, your, to your phone from the app store if you have an iPhone so that you can connect your devices. So this is... Um, the home screen and it actually came with these stock photos there were so there were several um stock photos and i just uploaded a few of um our own family photos i'm going to upload some more and take that stock photo off this is just a note from my granddaughter so she's so sweet she always tells me you know that <laughs> i'm beautiful and nice and smart and kind and all these things so anyway um you can you know here you can add um, pictures, memos, stickers, you can know you can do drawings. Um, this actually slides and so you know you're able to connect like the weather app, um, Spotify, you can connect your Google Calendar um, to it. Actually, um, I don't want to connect my calendar because uh, I'm just going to add a note so I'll just show you here so to add an event please connect your calendar so it gives you the um, option of connecting your google or your microsoft 365 calendar i actually have things that i would like to add to this calendar but i don't want to connect my calendar because you know with a lot of the smart devices they're always <laughs> they're always tracking and watching and listening so even you can see here that um it has this microphone like so uh, it was on and I turned it off and then I came back a couple of hours later and it was on again. But um, <laughs> girl, don't get technology if you're scared of technology. So this is just, you know, like a sticky note. This is from my uh, youngest daughter's best friend. I love you lots to my second family. Um, you can add like dictionary.com, the word of the day, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it gives you all this trivia, what happened on uh, that particular day, uh, a daily inspiration. So I'm just gonna go back. So I'm just gonna hit the back button. Um, let's see here. This is like the fridge manager. So you can, um, let's just click on it. So it tells you when the water filter needs to be replaced, you know, if the ice is full or not, what the temperature of the refrigerator is, um, this says special features. I actually haven't gone here yet. So 
Oh, it just tells you the special features of the refrigerator. So this is what <clears throat> um, it looks like in the inside. And there is also a button on here where you can see what's in the inside without having to open the refrigerator. And if you download the Family Hub app, you can actually see what's in the inside of the fridge um, on your phone. So I don't know, just say you're at work and you know, you're trying to see if you have something that you need, you can just um, view it from your phone and I'll actually do a screen recording and add that into the video. So you just download the Family Hub app as you can see here, and then you click on fridge view and it will show you everything that's in your fridge and it also um, saves previous viewing so you can see what was in it each time you checked each day that you checked i even have you know the photo in here of the first day when we got the fridge and there was nothing in it and then you can also go back to the home screen and add notes add food lists you can change your templates, you can upload photos, and it has all of the app settings. So here we are back on the home screen. That's the Family Hub app. You can connect your Pandora to play music. Um, I'm not gonna connect it, but I'll just show you. So you just, you know, sign into your Pandora account. And you can add as many of these um, uh, template screens as you like to the phone. Um, you just simply click uh, add. Let me see if I can get back to it. Well, I'll go to that. I really should have my daughter and granddaughter doing this review because they're so good at it. But here um, at the bottom, you can see that it has um, different apps. It has, you know, a place for, you can add a shopping list and just click on add. And then you would write here what you need. I'll just type in eggs. Okay, so it already has an automatic prompt. So then you can add eggs to your shopping list uh, it also has uh, the microphone, so you can just speak what it is that you need. Um, let's add something else. So, um, I don't know. Put. So, and then we'll just use a smart prompt. And so that's how you add a shopping list. Then we have the internet. So you can just go to YouTube or whatever, um, you know, website that, um, excuse me, yeah, whatever website uh, that you want to view. So we'll just type in, let's go to CNN. Okay, so CNN, um, whatever you want. So you have access to the web. You can also upload photos to your gallery. You can do it with the app for your phone. Um, let's see, what else? It actually has Oh, you know what? I was pressing the wrong thing for smart for smart view. This is to see inside. So it's not very organized because I've been busy. So I need to, I'll actually let uh, my daughter um, put up the groceries for um, in here when we first got it. And she's not as organized as me. But then it has here where you can click on apps and it shows you um, all of the apps. So it has recipe app, you know, Amazon, uh, Dash, uh, and, you know, whatever you need, meal planners, memos, Pandora, whiteboard, trivia, then it has apps that. 
that are not connected, but that you can install. So, uh, this is it. I mean, you can uh, plan your meals, you know, just add what you're going to need. Um, let's look at the recipe. The all recipes so currently we're facing the problem all recipes server is down okay but basically you can go on here and search for um, recipes so they're down so I'm just going to um, show you inside already gave you the view of the inside of it but i'll just let you look inside so i still have to go grocery shopping everything has been sort of sparse at the store so it just has these um side by sides this is all um refrigerator this actually had another panel like this that is able to flip up but my husband just took it out because we usually have a lot of drinks in here um and we did like once i went grocery shopping and um after my other refrigerator was on the blink. So it has just these two vegetable cooling trays. It has another little um, cool select pantry that you can add, you know, little stuff in. Um, the bottom is the freezer. So it actually has a top freezer shelf and then it has a deeper um, freezer shelf at the bottom. Uh, so that is the freezer. It has a really good amount of space because usually when I go grocery shopping, I have at least, you know, 300 plus dollars worth of stuff. And that's like every two weeks. And, you know, sometimes I have to not get things because I'm concerned. I was used to be concerned if I was going to have enough space to fit it. I had a deep freezer in my garage, but the dog that we had previously he chewed through the cord of it so i haven't replaced it but i will um so this has a lot of uh, storage space for uh what i need and you know like my shopping list and budget so this guys has been the samsung family hub smart refrigerator review if you're interested in getting one um the price for this one was about $2,500, uh, which is not uh, that different for um, other stainless steel side-by-side -side refrigerators. In fact, I saw a couple of refrigerators that weren't smart refrigerators that were more expensive than this one. Oh, so, and it has, you know, ice water, whatever. And I need to clean it because the kids have been, you know, playing around on it and so their fingerprints are kind of all over but uh yeah if you're interested in getting one I haven't uh, had I mean I really don't have any complaints about it if I did have a complaint my only complaint would be this this water that that pools like usually on most side-by-side -side refrigerators it has a a dip a dip tray or like a drain tray in it um, that sort of holds the water that can be pulled out and clean, but this one does not. And so I always come in here and find that there is water pulled from whoever the last person was to get water. And I don't like that. And it sort of drips down here. And if, you know, you have a stainless refrigerator, you know that the water drips are the most challenging and the most annoying to clean. So if that... If I had a complaint, that would be it. I just wish it had like a tray that we could put inside of here or that it came with a tray to put inside of here. As you can see, there's like water stains all behind here and I'm gonna clean it. But this, my friends, has been my Samsung Family Hub Smart Refrigerator uh, review sort of walkthrough. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this has been Meryl Wheat. You guys have a blessed and a prosperous day.